Today we will learn how to load a new genome in GeneXplain platform and analyze enriched FBS in the promoters of glycolysis genes. Today we will search for transcription factor binding sites in the genome of Camagatella pastoris. First we download the FASTA formatted genome and then we download the annotation features, the gene annotation. Then we go to the platform and create a new folder for the genome of the Camagatella pastoris. And first we upload this genome from the computer. So the zip file is a FASTA file. The system opens the zip file and download the FASTA formatted uh, file of the whole genome of that organism. We can open that uh, genome and we can see, uh, zoom in, zoom out, we can uh, switch to different chromosomes, you know there are four chromosomes, uh, we can switch between the chromosomes. Now let's download the gene annotation. The gene annotation is in the GTF file. And it's important to uh, make sure that the names of the chromosomes are exactly the same as the, uh, and they are in the FASTA file. So we have to substitute in that file the names of the gene uh, of the chromosomes, so the full name as it is present in the FASTA file. After that, we can download, uh, upload this uh, file into the GeneXplain platform, uh, and defined the source of the sequence, the genome. So in this case it's a custom uh, genome which we have just uh, uploaded in the platform and now the annotation is recognized and it is visualized in the genome browser. So we can switch between different chromosomes and we see the annotation of the genes, transcripts and other features in that genome. So for instance, we can click on a particular feature or open these all annotations in the table. And for instance, we can see that some of the annotations are for the full gene and we want to select those annotations only. So we can filter this table by the gene in this uh, column of the property gene. And now we see 5,000 genes uh, are selected. We can save them as a separate annotation file. So, and we can actually uh, also visualize this file in the genome browser. Now you see that file contains the annotations for the genes only. Now we want to select a subset of genes for glycolysis. For that we go to the BioSeq data database and uh, select the yeast organism and select uh, search for the glycolysis pathways. So we found a one pathway for glycolysis. You can see it here in this database. And now we can actually download the gene list for that pathway. We can copy that gene list into the Excel file and select each in the names of uh, those genes, for instance, the first gene. And in that annotation file, we see that there are gene names in the colon uh, property gene. So we can filter this file uh, by these gene names. So each gene has to be selected individually and we built a search uh, term uh, which includes uh, all the genes in the term. So we apply this search and now we see here 10 genes are selected which belong to this glycolysis pathway. So we can save this as a separate annotation file for these 10 genes. Now what we want to do is actually to uh, select or choose promoters of those genes. For that we start the function called process tracks with the sites and put here this uh, annotations file for the glycolysis genes. And we, stay, we are defining here the promoter lengths of 400 nucleotides upstream from the start of the gene. So we can save this annotation a new annotation file as a promoter annotations. And now you see this new file which contains the promoter track 
for these 10 glycolysis genes. The same we will do for all the genes in this genome. So actually for all 5,000 genes. Uh, so we do the same. So we create a promoter track for, this, um, for, the, for all genes. And this track it contains uh, promoters for all genes of the lengths of 100 nucleotides. But now we want to uh, create a track which, can, uh, which uh, have all genes but glycolysis genes. So we actually have to intersect these two tracks and subtract uh, the, uh, the promoters of glycolysis genes from all other promoters. So now we, we have this um, track, the promoter filtered. Now we search for transcription factor binding sites in those tracks. For that, we start a function here, which called search, uh, uh, site search in the tracks. And we can put there for first the promoter track of the glycolysis gene, genes, uh, we have to define the, um, the profile, which is for fu fungi um, position weight matrices, and apply it. So now you see the sites uh, was found, and the same was applied for all other promoters in the genome. So it takes a bit longer, so we, we, uh, we now find uh, sites in the promoters of other genes, but the genes from the glycolysis. So this, uh, these sites in the other genes will be used here as a background set. So we start uh, a function called site search result optimization and put there the site sets in the promoters of the glycolysis genes and the promoters of other genes. And we define the cutoff by p value and uh, specify parameters of the search and the output files. And now we get the results. Basically, we got 177 um, positional weight matrices which are enriched in the promoters of glycolysis genes. And here we see uh, the profile uh, of this 177 matrices. Uh, we, here we see the, how those sites uh, of 177 matrices are found in the promoters of those uh, glycolysis genes. So we can uh, put here a notation of the promoters. So annotation of all genes and also annotation of the promoters. So to see uh, basically uh, that the, indeed those sites are found in the promoters of those genes. So for instance, this site is correspond to the factor TBP, which is known to be in, near the start of transcription. We can also visualize uh, sites for the top um, enriched uh, position weight matrices. For instance, uh, here in this table, we see those sites uh, for the top enriched uh, matrix for the factor called GSM1. And we can uh, look at this uh, transcription factor uh, in the database, human PSD database, and we see that this transcription factor is indeed is a glycolysis starvation modulator. Another top enriched uh, matrix is for the CAT8 factor. And we also can have a look at that uh, matrix in our profile. Uh, click on that matrix, go to the human PSD database. We see the matrix and we can read uh, about this position weight matrix and about the factor. We can see the CAT8P uh, is a very important activator of gluconeogenetic genes in yeast. In summary, we took genome of Camagatella pasteuris from NCBI database, uploaded it into the GeneXplain platform, and also uploaded the gene annotation from that genome. Then we took genes from BioSeq database, which belong to glycolysis pathway, extracted promoters for those genes, and find enrichment of transcription factor binding sites in the promoters of glycolysis genes. And then we identify that the top uh, enriched transcription factor binding sites uh, are actually known to be involved in glycolysis regulation, among them GSM1 transcription factor or CAT8 transcription factor.